Well, hey, y'all. It's Debbie, your girl with pearls. Happy Valentine's Day. Today, I'm going to be making five different Valentine's arrangements. I'm going to be repurposing this. I had this for my daughter and Lauren's son's wedding. And I'm going to just take the hydrangeas out and clean up the vase. And I'm going to repurpose it and use it for Valentine's Day. Now I'm just going to use this decorative shred I got from the Dollar Tree. I'm using pink and red and I'm going to use these sparkly little hearts that came from the Dollar Tree in my haul. And I'm going to take the shred and I'm going to mix it together. I'm going to fill my vase. And now I'm just going to tuck in some of these sparkly hearts. Just to accentuate it. And I'll push them down and scatter them about. Look at how cute that looks. Just something to give it a little extra dimension. And this is just a simple arrangement. If you went to buy this, um, you'd pay a dollar for each bag, a dollar for the stickers. There's three dollars. And if you used a bunch or two of the Dollar Tree roses, um, you'd spend five dollars on this arrangement, unless you didn't have the buzz. If you had the vase, then you'd have to spend a little bit more. But this, for me, I had the... Um, some of the things left over from Christmas. I'm repurposing that vase. And now I'm going to fill in around the edge. So no glue guns, simple and easy arrangement. You could put something together really quick for Valentine's Day. And there you have it. How cute is that? And I placed this in my formal living room on my wine table. Look at how cute that is. So it makes an impact. Okay, so now I'm using some more of those silk roses. And I just have these square glass um, holders that I put some red beads in. I've had these um, little bead stones for years. And I have some clear ones, I have some red ones. And I'm just cutting these and popping the four of them in. That's it, that's simple. You know, silk flowers are inexpensive. You buy them once and you have them forever. And look at the impact that cute little arrangement makes. Just four little roses and the little glass square and some of those beads. And you can change that out for the seasons if you'd like. 
different color beads, different color silk flowers. And here's where I put it. It really pops. Now this is just a very simple one. I didn't even use any foam to hold it. I just cut these and put them into a little coffee cup. I'm gonna put them on my kitchen counter. And here's where I put that. And it makes an impact. Okay, now this I got from Walmart in my first haul, my Valentine's haul. It was $3. And I'm just putting a little piece of styrofoam in there from the Dollar Tree. And I'm going to do the very same thing. I'm just going to cut these uh, bunches of rose stems apart and stick them in. I love decorating with silk flowers. As I said, you can use them all around your house to give you an impact and, and they're very effective and very inexpensive. Now these I picked up at the Dollar Tree because I had run out of my own silk roses. And they were a dollar a bushel, so that cost me two dollars. So this arrangement cost me five dollars. And I'm just measuring the height of how tall the container is. And I'm moving that green up to the top. And I'm starting in the center and I'm going to build out from there. Move the green up to the top. And just a little bit lower to kind of form that mound shape. So if you don't have the extra income or extra money to go out and spend $30 or $50 on uh, flowers for somebody that you love, that you'd like to share some flowers with for Valentine's Day, you can very inexpensively make a silk arrangement that lasts them for years. And here's where I placed it. Okay, now I'm making this for my tea table in my formal living room. And as I said, I'm using the clear glass beads. And I have these pink roses. I used to have them in my sitting room in my old, my other house. In just a vase, and so I'm going to cut them up and just stick them in here.
and here's where I put it. How adorable is that? Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. And remember, your home should be a beautiful reflection of you and your family. And if you're not a subscriber and you like DIYs, decorating, crafting, and cooking, all things home, I'm your girl, and I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And if you'd like to see my Valentine's Home Tour, click right here. Or click on my Valentine's series to watch more. Thanks so much for watching, and have a blessed day.